Today, I'm going to show you how to create a class in Google Classroom. We're going to start in the top right corner. If you click on the plus key, you can either join a class or create a class. And in our case, we're going to create a class. Once you click on create a class, go ahead and name your class. This option is required. Your optional sections are section, subject, and room number. Once you go ahead and fill out the information, click on create and it's going to create the classroom for you. Okay. As you can see, it's already created the classroom for you. If you notice in the left corner, you see fifth period. Um, Normally, if you put your section there, then you would also see information there as well. Here you have stream. This is what's going to show up for your students. Classwork, the people that are in your class, and then these are your settings. So let's go ahead and click on settings. So again, in the upper left corner, I had just fifth period. I have the room number and the subject, but I'm going to go ahead and add the section. So we're going to say this section is science and then I'm going to save it down here you're going to see the class code this is another way that you can add students to the classroom without actually having to log them yourself if you just click on class code you can display it for them and it'll show up large enough for them to be able to see it and enter in the code it tells the period and the subject you can also limit what students can do on post, whether they can actually post on the stream, comment, both or neither. If you notice now, since I've added earth science, it is now showing up under fifth period. So this would be very helpful if you teach more than one content. If you click on about, it's just going to give you the information that you put into the system. Fifth period, earth science, along with the class code, the subject and room number. You can select a theme. If you're not happy with the patterns, you can always change the patterns by simply clicking on patterns. Or you can go back to gallery and you can choose a picture from the gallery. If neither of these options are for you, you also have the option to upload a photo, and you can do that directly from your computer. If you notice on the left over here, you have upcoming. So anything that is due will show up here. And we'll also talk about topics as well. Topics will show up underneath all upcoming work. So in order to get started with your classroom, let's add folders and assignments. So if you click on classwork, it's going to bring you to this screen. Here's where you can assign individual assignments, questions, and again, you use topics in order to organize your classwork into modules or units. And you can order it any way that you want the students to see it. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and click create. And I don't want to just click assignment or questions. I want them in folders. So I'm going to click on material. Once I click on material, I'm going to give the title. So let's say, for example, I'm going to start with unit seven. And unit seven would be natural resources. Now I'm going to create a topic again, so it's easier for students to find. So since we're talking about natural resources, I could make the topic natural resources or I could name some things in particular, but I'm just going to stick with natural resources.
from there, I can add all of the assignments that I want the student to do. So if I've planned ahead of time or I'm using information from last year, I can upload it from my computer. Um, I can also go to the recent tab and it will upload anything recent. Um, I can go to my drive and it will go to my Google Drive and I can go ahead and go into these folders or look at the files that are already there. Team drives if you have them and anything that I have saved. So I'm just going to go in recent just because I did have some information here even though this is math. Once you pull up the information, you automatically saves. If you don't want that, it's the wrong folder, you click on the trash icon and delete it. You can go ahead and post it. But let's say this is an extension assignment and you only want certain students to do it. If you click on all students, then you have the option to select all students or certain students in particular. And then you can click post. I'm going to create two more folders just so you can get an idea of how simple this is. Okay, so now that I've created folders, if I click on stream, this is how it will appear for my students. So it says unit one, unit two, unit seven. Unit seven, remember, was the first one that I created, so it automatically went at the bottom, and unit one was the last one. So the reason why I did this in reverse was just because I already knew that it would show up with the first one last and the last one first. But remember, you can always reorganize it for you and you can move it down. You can even move them up. You can rename it, you can copy the link but it's still going to show up in this order here, okay? So now, if you click on people, here is where you would add your students. You can add it by name, but again, I showed you earlier where you can give them the class code and they can just join the class. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this helps.